cracks, leaks and mold growing from the ceiling and walls were just some of the challenges that Zapata faced here in this courthouse. Repairs have been made, but the county had to borrow millions to make them. Usually courthouses are the most uh, dominant buildings in the county and, and we certainly felt that we wanted a, a courthouse that uh, the people of Zapata would be proud of. In 2003, Zapata County signed a contract to begin work on their new courthouse. Three years later, they moved in. And we wanted a courthouse that would last, you know, a uh, hundred years. But it hasn't held up. It's Judge like Joseph Rathmel says they've had it, problems with a quick <laughs> deterioration of the building. Every office that had an external wall had mold uh, growing on it, so we had to address those immediately. Fearing jeopardizing the health of employees and visitors, the county borrowed almost three million for the first phase of repairs. Aside from mold remediation, the first phase included repairs to the top of the building. If you take a look at the dome that crowns this courthouse, you'll notice it's practically new. That's because a few years ago it was replaced due to consistent water leaks. Their reports indicate two more phases of repairs, including addressing cracks in the floors, faulty windows, and other heating, ventilation, and air conditioning repairs. Exasperated in 2011, they filed a lawsuit against Setterfield and Pontica's construction, asking for nearly $15 million in repair and attorney fees. Five years later, the ruling came back in their favor. Although the building cost about $10 million to build, they were awarded about $8 million. All the debt will be cleared uh, with, with this award. It should be cleared. And, uh, but unfortunately, we will not have uh, enough monies to uh, fix or remediate some other issues that, the, that still remain. $4 million is what they estimate they'll have to find for the last phase of repairs. Before receiving a ruling, there was an attempt at settling. S&P had offered to pay a fraction of the $15 million sought, but commissioners held fast and are happy that they did. Reporting from the Zapata County Courthouse, I'm Valerie Gonzalez for KGNS.